every vote is so important because we've seen it at, at every race, at every level, one vote can make the difference. For Londonderry Town Clerk Sherry Farrell, making sure every vote is counted is more than a job, it's a duty. In New Hampshire, we do it the very best, and um, there's transparency and at every level in our Secretary of State's office. But with the November election less than 50 days away, she and election officials from across the country say they're worried about persistent problems that they've seen with the Postal Service, where mail-in ballots get to local offices days after the deadline, including this past primary. As a matter of fact, a, an absentee ballot came back to us today, which means that it's not going to be counted because it's beyond that 5 p.m. cutoff on election day. Secretary of State David Scanlon says some ballots have been sent back to voters and labeled as undeliverable. I think everybody uh, in New Hampshire that uses the U.S. Postal Service has seen a decline in, in the service that we get. Senator Maggie Hassan says she's been putting pressure on the Postal Service to make sure its workers are ready for November. The kind of delays we've been seeing in the mail uh, are unacceptable for any mail at any time, but it's why we're pushing the Postal Service right now to do this training. Scanlon says about 10% of New Hampshire voters vote absentee, so it's critical that they get their ballots back by 5 p.m. on Election Day or else their vote won't be counted. And then that's it. That's the cutoff. So what do you do? Local election officials say the first thing you should do as soon as you get your ballot is fill it out right away, then either get it right back in the mail or better yet, give it straight to your local clerk. So the voter does have some responsibility on this too. Ariel Metropolis, WMUR News 9. Now, despite these concerns, representatives for the Postal Service say they are confident they are ready to deliver election mail on time.